Welcome back everybody. Today I'll be doing an unboxing from the company Andar. I think I'm saying that correctly, Andar. They're new to me. I'm not sure if any of you have heard of them before, but they reached out to me to review this um, product and I'm excited to show you more, but I haven't seen it. It's an unboxing. So let me open it up here. Here's the box. Let me see how this goes. Okay, I got it open. Here we go. Open the flap. It's a big box. It's a big product. I won't even say what it is. But you probably already know by the title. Okay, so here we are. Oh, the packaging is nice. Look at this. It comes in a dust bag. And there's the company name. Can you see? Andar. And that is um, a Spanish word. It's a verb. And they said it means um, to carry or to ride. And it is a bag. So to carry is really kind of whimsical. And then here's the second product. And let's see. Oh, that's sweet. So I worked with Megan. Hey, Megan. Uh, I'm so excited for you to try the Addison and Apollo. Hopefully it becomes the perfect leather bag for you. Oh, look at her using my handle, the perfect leather bag. So thank you, Megan. That was sweet. And a sticker. This is Andar. How very nice. Okay. And what's this? Another sticker. Andar. I, that's smart. You know, get your branding out there. Should we do the big one or the small one? Hmm? Hmm? Should we do the, let's do the small one. Let's do the small one. Fill the suspense. So here is the packaging. Throw that over there. So I saw this on our website. And so when we were talking, me and Megan, I was like, I want to kind of see what that wallet's all about. And this is called the Apollo. Can you see that? Um, I like men's wallets for myself, but I did show this to Mark, and he was kind of interested. It had some more branding. The box open open up that way. Oh, I, I'm just like doing this without realizing I have to show you everything. Okay, here's the dust bag. Oh my. So this is full grain leather, the Apollo, and pretty standard billfold. You have a money clip right here. Am I doing the upside down money clip? Open window, no acetate. Um, and some storage for cards here and here. One cool thing about this wallet is this tab in the back you pull this down see this elastic <gasps> okay should i pause this so i can practice how to do this i think i might just a minute okay i'm back i learned how to use this wallet i loaded it up with a bunch of gift cards so my identity is maybe protected a little bit okay let's do an overview there's an outside pocket here and what i appreciate is there's this preview window so you can press up and pull the card out easier. So, pull it down. And you would press up with your thumb there to pull it out. And then when we open the wallet, I put some money in there with the money clip and it kind of just um, secures this way. You can pull it out from the bottom like so. Uh, and all filled up, I mean, this is the overall silhouette. It is quite thin. Um, I have a total of two, four, six, one, two, three. I have nine cards and then um, several dollar bills in there. And um, I think it can hold 10, but I didn't do 10. Okay, so back to this. Um, we did this front, we did the money clip. I counted the cards. Uh, let's go on this back side. So we're here, now we're here. This thing, can you see this? I don't know why I'm so excited about this. Um, 
this will access cards that are stacked in here. So you would hold the fold down in your hand. You would pull this and watch. I'll pop the cards. I don't know why that's so exciting for me. It's the little thing. So three cards popped up there so I can access one of those or all of them. So again, you are pulling here and you can pull out those cards. Because otherwise, that would be um, kind of hard to get my fingers in here. And then on the inside, there was this display window. So you could put a card there. I would think you'd put your ID. And then on the other side of the cache, we have two cards stacked, two cards stacked. Um, so that's the overview. What do you think? I, um, I'm going to ask Mark if he'll use this, replace his old wallet for a while and see what he thinks. Um, Apollo. All right, so let's move on to the main event. Where were we? On Dar. So this is a backpack, uh, full grain leather. If you don't know, full grain le leather is the best. I encourage you to Google the differences between leathers, between top grain and genuine leather and bonded leather. And full grain leather is the best. Okay. Mm, here we go. You're seeing it the first time I'm seeing it. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. This is the Addison backpack in caramel tan. Um, and it feels nice. This is a very smooth full grain. Sometimes they can have more texture or they can have more flaws. But this one is very smooth, very even. In the back, it has these backpacks. I'll take them out of their plastic. A nice full handle to grab with your full hand. Okay, I got the plastic off the straps. Here are the straps in the back. They have an infinity loop, so you can adjust the size. They also have a loop here to catch any of the access straps. Um, the logo is right here in the back and as I'm touching this, you know, for the first time, I'm noticing there's like a padding in here, in, in this back panel. Um, it feels kind of like a foam, um, maybe a neoprene. I'm not quite sure the material, but that's really kind of them to be wearing this as a backpack in case the weight gets kind of out of hand. Um, this is a very, very light backpack. I need to put out my postal scale to weigh it, but this is one of the most lightest backpacks I own. Um, the dimensions are 13 and a half high by 11 wide. Let me line it up with my body. By 11 wide by five and a half deep. Um, I really like those dimensions. I was kind of researching this company and this bag a little bit online before filming and it's not going to be your biggest backpack but it's going to allow you to carry what you need just the essentials and that will essentially keep the weight down because um, you can't overpack it but it's starting already at a very manageable weight I mean if you're familiar with my other bags I disregard weight all the time because I don't feel like that should, that doesn't always determine what bags I love. But this is on the lighter side. So if you're somebody who needs to really consider weight, maybe this is an option too. Okay. Um, I talked about the backpack straps and I mentioned this handle again. Um, no noticeable rivets. The stitching is the same color as the bag. A very, very, very minimalist modern look. Uh, this pocket already has me thinking. This is huge. This pocket is nine by eight and it has its own depth. Do you see this? Sometimes people will give us pockets without any depth and I'm like, what is that? A sleeve? I can't do anything with that. <laughs> I sound so angry. Um, okay, so let's look in the pocket. You can kind of see it has a micro suede lining, really soft. There's no more organization in this uh, pocket. 
but we'll zip it up. I mean, that, that can hold so much. Um, I kind of want to load it up for you to see what will fit. Maybe I'll do that at the end of the video. Okay, and then on the back again, I wanted to make sure I showed you there was a back secret pocket. And this, ooh, it's its own chamber. I have another backpack that you unzip this and I go into the bag, but that's not the case with this one. This one you open and you have your own full pocket that is the whole depth of the backpack. Be sure to keep flat items back there, otherwise it will be poking you. And let's jump into the inside. All right. There we go. You can see there are pockets on this top panel. Um, and then a full zipper pocket on the bottom there. These um, two pockets aren't the full depth of the bag. They only go to about halfway. Let's check this back zipper, what it can do. Oh, okay, it's about that much of a pocket. It doesn't go the full depth of the bag either. Um, I kind of like it. Guys, I want to like go play. Because I have nowhere to go. June, my baby is sleeping and thankfully I can film today. But I just want to like pack it up and walk around the house. It's really nice. I mean, full grain leather and that leather lasts a lot longer. Um, the company is in Chandler, I think I'm saying that right, Arizona. And they're only new as of 2015. And this is their only women's bag. They have a wallet, wristlet, and then a lot of other accessories and lots of wallets for men, but this is their only women's bag. And I think for their first, they came out really strong because this is that very minimal look that I really, really like. Um, sometimes I go more rugged or formal, but this one is just nice. You could dress it up or dress it down. Okay, let me put some stuff in it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna just fill it up. Just be right back. Okay, I'm back again from packing up the backpack. Just, I literally swiveled. I loaded it up with what was in my other bag, which is more of a pouch right now. Um, anyway, so I just emptied the pouch and I just filled up this pouch. Does that make sense? So now like, if this is the size of your purse, this can just, the front pocket can hold it all. Um, you know, sometimes I would demo these bags as a diaper bag and I didn't do that today, but I could see this being a nice diaper bag backpack option for baby June. So in the front today, I loaded up, well, shocker, a mask, um, hand sanitizer, but in a Ziploc. Like, I mean, I got a lot of nice bags. I can't ruin it right now. We got a trifold wallet. Um, it seems confusing and redundant, but another wallet. This is, um, this is the one I have my more frequent cards in, and then the bigger one has just like overflow. Uh, I guess one thing I wish this bag had would be a key fob, because this is just floating around. And a uh, pen, mascara, and lip gloss. Now that pocket's empty. I don't even think I had it completely full, but I think that was like a normal day. Um, in the back pocket, I have my, let's hold it up, Samsung Galaxy S10 cell phone. That would probably already be in my back pocket, but I do kind of like that it has its own individual place. I could put more masks back there because those are soft. That won't poke you. Okay, then I'm going to unzip this, and I wouldn't leave the house with this, but I had to show you. It fits. This is a Sam's, or this is a Microsoft Surface Book. And it fits so nicely. So much extra room. I mean, it had all this extra room up at the top here. Do you see that like extra three inches or so? Just easy, probably another inch and a half on either side. That's really nice. Sometimes I have to bring that to meetings. And then this is the day planner I've been using this year. Um, that fit in there really good. 
And then in these pockets, I put the Apollo, no, this is earbuds and medicine. And in this pocket, I have the Apollo with tons of gift cards <laughs> that I'm not using because I never leave the house. Okay, don't go into that. I didn't put anything in the back zipper. So that was just like what I could reach in my room. Um, follow me on Instagram, the perfect leather bag. I will be posting some pictures of me modeling this backpack. Um, it's nice. It's very, very modern. This is on the very modern size for my bags. Just no extra buckles or bells or whistles or, but I like it. Did I say it retails for $229? I've meaning to tell you that. It retails for $229. And the wallet retails for $59. Um, all right, guys. This is just my unboxing. First impressions. I like it. I'm so surprised by the weight. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.